What up, what up, Wimbush here. And if you're working inside a Ridge Shift in Cinema 4D and you wanna know how to use the material ID to render out your puzzle mats, it's as easy as this. So I'm inside of Cinema 4D. I'm using the latest version 2023.2. I'm just gonna come down here to create. Now I have Ridge Shift, materials, and I'll just use a standard material, right? So nothing too crazy going on here. Let me scroll this up a little bit. And then over here on the right hand side under color, let's make this one red, something simple. I'm just going to drag and drop it onto my cube that I have here. I'm going to hold down the Alt key, select it, left click, drag over. And I'm just going to make this one maybe like blue or something. So let me come over here and I'm just going to make this blue like so. Then same thing, hold down control. And I'm just going to actually drag this over here on my cone. And then for my last one here, let's make this one green, something like that. And then I'm going to put it on my cylinder like so. So in order to activate the material ID, it's as simple as just going into the material and label it as so. So if I come over here to my red material, I'm going to double click on it and then I'm going to click on output. And then if I look over here in my lower right hand corner where I have my output right here, you should see, let me see if I could drag this up. There we go. So down here under options, you'll see material ID. So I can actually make this one one and then I'm going to click on this one right here. Click on output material ID make this one too. I'm going to select this one, select output right here. And over on the right hand side, material ID, I'm going to make this one three and we should be good to go now. So now to be able to activate this, I'm going to come up here to Redshift. And I'm going to come down here to Redshift AOV Manager. And I'm going to left click on this. Now over on the left hand side, we should see puzzle mats if we scroll down, which will be right here. So I'm going to drag and drop it into here. And then right here, you should see mode and you can either do object ID, which I've done in the past, but recently I have to give a shout out to Garrett. He's the one that helped me out with this. He told me about the material ID here. And so if you do this and then you just kind of correlate it with it. So material green ID, I'm going to make that one three because that's what I have here. And then blue, I'm going to do that one there. And actually let me make these different colors just so it doesn't correlate with the RGB. So I'm going to make this one a different color here. Let's say... Let's just make this one yellow just to kind of throw it off a little bit. So now let's say we're happy with how everything looks right here. So I'm going to come up here to Redshift and I'm going to come down here to Render View and I'm just going to render this out so we can see the passes. So I'm going to click the play button right here, the start button, and this should bring up our beauty pass at first, which we have right there. But after the beauty pass is rendered out, we can actually go over and see what the puzzle map's going to look like. And so right here in my render view, I'm actually going to click on my boxes right here. And then right here where it says beauty, I'm going to click on puzzle mat and there you go. So now we see we have a puzzle mat for each one of our items there. And this correlates with our materials that we have down here. And so it's as easy as that. Now, if we want to render this out, I'm going to come over here to my render settings, which we have right here. And then I'm going to come down here to save. So I'm saving this one to my desktop here. Just name it Winbush. I'm going to copy, paste it down here where it says multi-pass image. And then I'm just going to actually make this one just a PNG, just so we have a separate file there. We could do AXR, so everything will be in one file, but I'm just going to separate it for you guys, just so you see it. Same thing here. I'm going to make this one a PNG, and we should be good to go. Just for demonstration purposes, just going to leave it at 720, and just do the current frame. So once you're happy with your render, you're just going to render this out. And once we're done with this, I'm actually going to bring this in the After Effects, so that I can show you guys how we can actually use this with our compositor. So I'm in the latest version of After Effects. I'm just gonna take my file here and just drag it down here into my sequencer, like so. Let me actually drag this over so we can see our timeline a little bit better. Then I'm gonna take the puzzle mat right here. I'm gonna drag this underneath here, like so. This is actually our rendered layer right here. And if I come over here to effects and presets, if we just type in mat, what we're looking for is set mat. So it's gonna be under channels right here. You could just left click and drag it onto your layer right here. And inside your effects control, you should see it right here. So let me scroll this over so it's a little bit easier to see. But you can see right here, it says take map from layer. We actually want to select our puzzle map right here and then use for map right here. This is where we can select those color channels for our RGB. So if I do red channel, and then actually let me turn off my puzzle map because this is going to have alpha channel. Now you can see we have this one soloed out right here. And again, if I turn off the background, now you can see that we have an alpha channel. Now, if I come down here and hit Control D, and I'm just going to duplicate it and inside of our effects panel, instead of red channel, I can select the green channel. Now you can see that we have this shape over here. So let me actually turn off this bottom layer 
and you can see that each one of these are separate out like so and the same thing hit control d that could do the same thing for the blue channel and boom now we have it right there so it's as easy as that if you're using redshift and you don't want to use crypto mats maybe you want to do something more specific like render your mats out per material that's exactly how you get it done so if you have any questions if always leave me a comment down below new to the channel make sure you subscribe and until the next video stay fresh keep creating and i'll see you in the next video i see you soon take care